The BlackBerry DTEC 50 looks just like the Alcatel Idol 4 and is priced at Rs 21,900. The BlackBerry DTEC 50 is a well-built device. It has a textured back and the camera along with a dual-tone LED flash that sits snug in a corner. Above and below the display, we have the front-firing speakers. They aren't the loudest, but the fact that they are front-firing does help. The bottom of the device has a micro-USB port, which is an interesting choice from BlackBerry given that the world is moving towards a USB Type-C future. Overall, BlackBerry has nailed the design of a functional compact phone. The textured back ensures a good grip and the 5.2-inch form factor makes it easy for the single-handed usage. The DTEC 50 has a 5.2-inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1920x1080 and a pixel density of 424 ppi. Indoor display is bright and produces neutral colors. However, sunlight readability is not the best. BlackBerry has used a predominantly stock Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow with some BlackBerry tweaks. There is a menu that can be launched by swiping from the edge of the display. You have access to shortcuts like calendar, messages, to-do list and contacts. The device comes preloaded with BBM and DTEC security. DTEC security is a good app to have if you are finicky about security and show you what apps are accessing the camera, microphone, etc. As an everyday device, we didn't face any issues with the performance of the BlackBerry DTEC 50. From opening apps to switching between them, there wasn't any significant issue. With the inclusion of an Adreno 405 GPU, games like Asphalt 8 run smoothly on the device, taking care of your gaming needs. On the back, the BlackBerry DTEC 50 has a 13 megapixel camera. It is average when compared to what the competition has to offer. Colors look oversaturated at times, so the reds will look too red and so on. If the camera is of the utmost importance to you, then you have the likes of the much cheaper Nubia Z11 Mini or the similarly priced Asus Zenfone 3. The BlackBerry DTEC 50 supports Quick Charge 2.0 through the micro USB port, but it takes a little over 2 hours to reach 100%, which is again a bummer. You lose between 20-25% of battery with about an hour of video streaming and a little under 20% while gaming for about 15 minutes. Overall, we think that the BlackBerry DTEC 50 is a decent smartphone but it has some striking shortcomings that can't be ignored. It has a great display and decent front-facing speakers, but the battery life of the smartphone is disappointing. However, as far as multimedia is concerned, you are better off looking at one of the many alternatives. Thank you for tuning into Digit, and for more videos, subscribe to our channel.